Yo, what is up guys? It's me, Zach Lee. So about an hour after I posted my video yesterday, I posted my video around five in the morning yesterday. So at around six o'clock in the morning yesterday, just one hour, literally one hour after I post my video, we get word that Anthony Davis requested to be traded from the New Orleans Pelicans. Literally the biggest news that could possibly come out this NBA season happened just one hour after I posted my video. Anyways, after waking up to find out that I missed out on the biggest story of the year by an hour and realizing that Anthony Davis is actually about to be traded from the New Orleans Pelicans, of course I spent a large portion of my day thinking about, dang, where should Anthony Davis be traded to? What team would I like to see Anthony Davis get traded to the most? That's the question that I was asking myself all day long today. And of course, the obvious answer of the Los Angeles Lakers came up. Everyone's been talking about the possibility of AD going to the Lakers since before the season started. So now that it's a possibility, of course, I started to think about, well, what if it actually did happen now? How good would that be? But I didn't only think about the Los Angeles Lakers. I thought about other teams as well. I thought what if in some universe my Detroit Pistons were able to trade for Anthony Davis? That thought lasted maybe five seconds. And then I thought of teams like the Dallas Mavericks. How good will Luka Doncic Anthony Davis pairing be? I thought of the Sacramento Kings as a team that has what it takes to trade for Anthony Davis and wondered if they'd be daring enough to do it. I thought of the Boston Celtics but then I realized that because of the Rose rule that they can't trade for Anthony Davis so I didn't think of them for very long either. And then I thought about one team in particular that I've been thinking about for the rest of the day and that team is the Toronto Raptors and after thinking about whether or not the Raptors would even have what it takes asset wise to trade for Anthony Davis and how the whole cap situation could work and if they can move enough money around to make things work I came to the conclusion that it's possible or at least I thought it was possible so I looked up if other people also thought it was possible and I found out that the Toronto Raptors are actually the favorites to land Anthony Davis right now which did suck because at first I thought I was some kind of genius for figuring out Anthony Davis to the Toronto Raptors but then I saw that and I was like well dang it looks like everyone else tried to figure that out too but anyways I really like the thought of Anthony Davis going to the Toronto Raptors for a few reasons and the first reason is because I'm a Detroit Pistons fan my favorite team of all time was the 04 Detroit Pistons of course the Pistons that year made a trade for Rasheed Wallace around the same time of year and because of that move the Detroit Pistons wound up winning the NBA championship that year and I have said it before on this channel many times throughout the years even that something about this Kyle Lowry led Toronto Raptors team reminds me of the 04 Pistons just just a little bit it reminds me of them a little bit so if they were to trade for Anthony Davis this time of year, it would only make me think of the 04 Pistons even more. So I'd want to see Anthony Davis go to the Toronto Raptors. That's kind of why. Another reason though was because it would give the Eastern Conference a legitimate powerhouse. Because keeping it real here, the Eastern Conference has a handful of really good teams. The Boston Celtics, Toronto Raptors, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Philadelphia 76ers, and the Indiana Pacers were really good, but unfortunately, Victor Oladipo will be out for the season. So the Eastern Conference has some really, really good teams, but it doesn't have a team that's on the level of the freaking Golden State Warriors. The Raptors, Celtics, and Bucks all might be able to hang with the Golden State Warriors in the regular season. But we all know that the Warriors in the NBA Finals and the NBA Playoffs are a different team than they are in the regular season. So as of right now, even though, like I said, those teams of the East are really good, they're not on the level of the Warriors just yet. However, Anthony Davis going to the Toronto Raptors would change that. And there was actually one more reason why I think this could be pretty interesting to see. Because if Anthony Davis did go to the Toronto Raptors, then we get to see DeMarcus Cousins versus Anthony Davis in the NBA Finals. And if Anthony Davis beat DeMarcus Cousins and stopped him from getting his ring after he left him to go to the Golden State Warriors, then DeMarcus Cousins 
my guy, you probably just took the biggest L in NBA history. That does it for that though. Now let's just take a look at everything else that happened in the NBA yesterday. Marc Gasol most likely just played his last home game as a member of the Memphis Grizzlies as Memphis is about to head out on a three game road trip after this game. And yeah, that's probably why it could have been the last home game for Gasol with the trade deadline coming up very soon. And not just for Gasol, but for Conley as well. And the Nuggets ruined it as even though Denver trailed 77 to 60 entering the fourth quarter, they still came back to get the 95 to 92 went. Malik Beasley was huge in the fourth quarter, scoring 13 of his 18 points. Mike Conley did score 23 points and dish out 11 assists though, and Gasol had 28. As for Marc Gasol, ridiculous reports that both the Sacramento Kings and Detroit Pistons have contacted the Grizzlies about a possible trade, and I see why the Kings would be interested as they could use the veteran experience that Gasol provides to try and help make a push to the playoffs this season. As for the Pistons though, this just confirmed my suspicions that Detroit is looking to trade Andre Drummond. I've seen a few reports here and there saying that this could be the case. However, none of them were substantial enough for me to take them seriously. But I have had a feeling that with Detroit struggling and Drummond not even being as effective next to Blake as of late, that the Pistons will look to see what they can get for Andre. And if they trade Drummond, then they're going to need someone to replace him, and that could be Mark Soule. The Golden State Warriors now have an 11 game winning streak after this 132. 100 blowout win over the Indiana Pacers. DeMarcus Cousins still looking really good with Golden State as he had 22 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists while playing 25 minutes. And Curry after this game confirming what I said earlier in this video as he said that he doesn't even believe that the Warriors are playing the best basketball right now. As when he was asked if he feels like they can play better, this is what he had to say. I feel like we can. We're not playing perfect basketball by any stretch. We're playing consistent focused basketball and we're still working at the kinks out of the rotation and stuff like that. And this is why Anthony Davis being traded to a team like the Raptors would be the best thing that the NBA could hope for this season as it would be the last hope that we have of actually having a very competitive NBA Finals. The Boston Celtics just tied their franchise record for the most blocks in a single game with 16 as they get the 112 to 104 win over the Brooklyn Nets despite Kyrie Irving not being available to them. That being said, the Nets themselves were missing five other regular rotation players in this game. Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown though both stepping up for Boston with 21 points. Trey Young and John Collins were a bit too much for the Los Angeles Clippers to handle tonight as Young and his 26 points as well as John Collins and his 22 points got the Hawks the 123 to 118 win over the Clippers despite Tobias Harris scoring 30 points. And lastly for the day the Charlotte Hornets got the win over the New York Knicks 101 to 92. Malik Monk coming up huge in that fourth quarter hitting 4-3 was going to do it for everything that we gotta talk about today hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then why not go ahead and smash the like button as well as make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with post notifications turned on so you can stay up to date with everything that goes on in the nba on a daily basis and now it is time for the player of the day where you guys have the opportunity to vote for who you think was the best player in the league last night by clicking the little eye icon at the top right hand corner of the video just remember though that only players whose team won are eligible to win player of the day and yesterday that player was none other than paul george as his 36 points 13 rebounds and three steals got the thunder the win over the Milwaukee Bucks. That is going to do it though. Thank you once again for watching. You guys already know that you are the real MVPs. But until tomorrow, I'm out of here. Peace.